everybody, welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. When last we left off, we are using time travel shenanigans to solve an ancient crime. Peter Proctor, 1680-1692. There's a duty head until the very end. Make a rubbing. There's someone who will be very interested to see this, or at least they will be very interested... You know, at least you will be very interested to see the look on their face when he sees it. Well, look at that. Tom got his wish after all. You got it. An item. Tom Dan's for his pocket watch. This is probably a terrible idea and I'm gonna ruin the time-space continuum. An old dilapidated chult shelter. There's some brown splotches in the corner that are pri quite probably old jam. your stern luck. Fortunately, she's too gentle to just throw you the heck out of her house. She returns to her conversation, though at a level too hush for you to hear. You hide behind the IRS, hoping the proctors aren't gyalki Danish. Fortunately, this proctor doesn't seem to have noticed your move. The conversation gradually returns to a less hush and more easily eavesdroppable volume. Drop those eaves. Don't you mention we've been picking up some new furniture for the bedrooms. Oh, really? Yes, a bureau and armoires and such. I found a delightful little stand for Peter's room. He even has a secret to compartment in it for when he's older and needs to hide sinful lithiographs from us. How charming. Should have did that before, but I didn't, and I'm a fool. the drawer and feel around until you find the little catch that makes the secret compartment pop open. Oh ho, what's this? You got an item. Severed a ragdoll arm. Huh. What is this? This seems suspicious, but th isn't the problem the with producers that it has too many arms? Ye would think so. down to a root cellar. The door is locked with an expansion of German combination lock requiring a five-letter word. Well, we don't know that word. I mean, I think I know the word, but even if you do, the game won't let you uh, do anything down there. It says, well, you're not actually supposed to be here. You're not supposed to have known the password, so I'm not going to say you were cheating. I'm just going to say you had, like, future knowledge. Okay, I'm back. Where were we? I have evidence to prove Patricia didn't write that graffiti. Alright, let's see it then. Here, I have two pieces of paper. This one is a rubbing of the, from the outhouse showing the graffiti in question. Peter Proctor is a stinky... Yes, that's the graffiti in question, alright. Uh, my f father basically owns this crummy town. You won't get away with it for slander, Patricia. Technically, it's liable, not slander. What's the other piece of evidence? This is a page from someone's diary. Someone who clearly thinks Peter Proctor is a duty head. 
And, if you compare the handwriting to the graffiti, they're a perfect match. Wow, they sure are. This diary came, this diary belong, came from belongs to Delilah Putnam. What? Give me that. She snatched the page away from you. Hey, wait a minute. I don't remember writing this. Hey, this is dated three days from now. It's really old, too. What's going on here? Don't you use an old paper? 1692. It's new when we use Wait, what? Uh, okay, well, I might as well come clean. I am a time traveler from the future, from the year 1928. I stole this page from a diary page from a museum. My diary was in a museum? Wow. So you admit that... I wrote the graffiti. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That is totally not the most interesting thing going on here. Guess I can't argue with that. Your feet charge against Patricia has hereby been dropped. You do owe someone an apology, though, Donna. Yeah, not you, duty, Eddie. She means Patricia. Sorry, Patricia. I was... It was Peter, I was mad. I didn't mean to get you in trouble for it. It's okay. He is a duty head. Hey! What's next? I have evidence that proves Patricia didn't steal the pocket watch. I'm to present it to court. Here it is. This is your pocket watch, right? Oh, it is. We're the... Thanks. Where'd you find it? Uh, I'd rather not say. It isn't evidence you don't tell us where you found it. It might have been in her house or something. <sighs> Alright, well, I found it in your grave. What? I'm a time travel in the future, remember? I heard you must say you loved that watch so you so much you wanted to be buried with it when you died. So I went back to my time, dug it up from your grave to see if you were see if you were. And you were. And there it is. You're, that's crazy. You're crazy. Possibly, but it's true. And the fact that you were buried with that watch time means eventually you'll you would have found it whenever you lost it, so Patricia didn't steal it. Tom squints at the watch in thought, then winds it and holds it to his ear. It still works. Minus crash? Fine craftsmanship still works after 236 years. It won't make him like that anymore. Okay, but this doesn't prove she didn't take it. Maybe I'll find it in her house or she gave, or will give it back to me or something. Maybe, but it's a closed loop now. You can't ever know how you would have gotten the watch back because now you got it back just because I gave it back to you. And isn't that all you really wanted was your watch back? You never really believed Patricia stole it. I would like to know what happened to it, but yeah, you're right. Sorry, Patricia, I hereby withdraw my accusation. <laughs> Thanks. So where did that leave us? We appreciate most of the charge. The only thing left is just a matter of her making a weird three-armed doll. So what's wrong with that? She has a weird doll, so... You can't... So you... Because you can't go around being weird and different all the time, no matter how much you want to. Mom and Pa says it ain't proper. Yeah, it's part of the social contract. Did you sign a contract, Patricia? I didn't sign anything. I promise. It's not that kind of contract. I have evidence concerning the doll, I guess? You guessed it? It's not very evidential. What'd you find? Well, I found this arm that looks like it tore off of a, a rag doll, but Trisha's arm has three. Let me see. Oh, yes, this is mine. Trisha holds up the doll, showing you that the stitches were were fixed where she left the hole. was where she torn off the arm. Oh, wait. Your arm was a regular forearm doll one? Uh-huh. I made it based on yours because I thought it was neat. Hang on. Forearm doll is regular in 1692? Not everybody around here. Yeah, I got bored, so I wanted something different. So I made the doll with four arms. But I'm not allowed to be different, so I had to tell my and Pa to fashion it. It was a regular fashion for dolls, and I don't know, it just became a regular thing. I think I get it. So you were mad about because you thought Patricia had out different you by having an asymmetrical doll. Yeah, I'm sorry, Patricia, that wasn't fair. Your doll's really good. I like it better than mine. Aw, oh, thanks, I forgive you, Delilah. Aren't dogs can dogs can make up? Say, that's funny, I just noticed the old, the old one's gone all stiff, like it's really old or something. Yeah, about to wreck in the future. Where'd you find it? We haven't really resolved what happened. Who okay, cares? Just a stupid rag doll. If your parent had money, then you could have made had two dolls instead of making one out of your own trash. I found it in a secret compartment in Peter's nightstand. Why you? Yeah, that figures. Not surprising in the least. Charge is dismissed. So what's left? Everything's been accounted for. Congratulations, Patricia. You've been acquitted of all charges. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Miss Blues. No problem. I was happy to help. Is there anything we can do in return? Well, there's one thing I'm curious about. You guys know anything about witches? Witches? You mean like black magic, concerning with the devil, that kind of thing? Yeah. <laughs> Check out this rumor thinks witches are real. Yeah, that's just scary stories parents tell their children to make them go to bed on time. So, no witches, no witch trials, nothing like that? Nope, not that I've ever heard of. My dad travels the whole region on his court circuit. Hmm, okay, thanks. Show Peter rubbing over his grave. Hey, Peter, come here a sec. Now, what do you want? I got something to show you from the future. I can't care about anything you'd have to show me from your dumb future. Oh, I think you'd be interested in this. You hold up the rubbing of his tombstone waggle in front of his face. Hello, I'm Peter's grave. He grabs the rubbing and stares at it. 
What? That's right, kid. Duty head. Right on your own gravestone. That's because you, when no one respects you, because you're an That's what happens when no one respects you because you're an arrogant jerk to everybody all the time. But, 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 but you're young, and you still got time to stay. See what I'm saying? Okay, okay, fine. I'll try to be nicer to people. Good boy. I have to borrow Delilah's house key. Hey, Delilah, can I borrow your house key for a second? Uh, excuse me? I need it for a time travel thing. The problem was to burglarize you and make a killing on the antique market in the future. That wouldn't work. If you took something from now into the future, it would still be new. Antiques aren't valuable unless they go all the long way around. Look, why do you actually want my house key? Well, not exactly sure, but apparently your house catches fire somewhere in time in the future, and I think it might be a good idea to prevent that. Well, yes, I agree with you. Unfortunately, I lost my key when I was out playing in the court side. Do you have any sort of magic, future magic that would wait to find the lost key? Hmm, maybe I'll think of something. Let's see what that did. And everything's still all witchy and stuff. So I didn't do everything I need to do. probably sour anyway. Trying to remember what the password is without looking it up myself. It's the name of the, f the uh, founder of the place. He was a jerk, but he tried. some more sandwich cream? Did I ever have any sandwich cream? 
Here, have some sandwich cream. Yes, you get uh, boons for petting cats in this game. Say, time to church. Talk to you later. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna look it up. I can't say it's better than nobody names their son's Fulk anymore. Anyway, the doors are unlocked now. Hmm, there's a gold pocket watch on this shelf. Inside the litter of the pocket watch is engraved to my son Tom on his 12th birthday. Well, the answer to the question of what happened to Tom's original watch originally, but in turn, raised some additional questions. Since you effectively duplicated the watch by bringing back the one from the future and giving it to Tom, it's probably weird if you. It's probably best if you leave this one alone. Things can get real weird if you gave Tom this one as well. Okay. A shelf full of books so old you can't even read par you can't even parse the titles. Really? None of them? Well, this one's with our blood on it. Probably means blood, and you're interested in blood. Encyclopedia of Blood. It's a good thing human anatomy hasn't changed in the last 300 years, or this book would be way out of date. Someone's chalked a ritual room circle on the floor floor that's ominous let's mess with it as you throw a wrench you find some chalk on the nearby shelf erase the circle and redraw it backwards as you throw a wrench into someone's plans and that should fix everything it didn't what did I do wrong? Oh wait, maybe it did. Welcome to the historical village, historical village of Sandwich, where the inhabitants kept history alive by living and working the same way people did here centuries ago. Wooden house, which was partially burned down and under extremely witchy circumstances. Hello, I'm Dorothy Putnam. Dolly, to my friends. Hi, Dolly. I'm Blues Traveler. Are you related to Dolly Putnam? Yeah, that's right. She was my great aunt, except more greats than that. That's so. You look uh, like someone who looks like a Delilah. What? Never mind. I just like being a historical reenactor. Honestly, it sounds kind of boring. Oh, it sounds so bad. It's easy work. I take the weekends off to cut loose in the ancient city with my friends, so it's not like I'm st suffocating in this wool frock year round. Can you imagine? Sheesh. Hey, uh, yeah. What's your nickname? Is it short for Dorothy, or is it because of actual dolls? <laughs> it's a little both. I make a lot of souvenir rag dolls we have on sale here. Oh, 
Do you have an interest in historical ragdolls? That would explain how you know about my great aunt Delilah. Oh yeah, that totally would. In that case, I do. I read her diaries. Apparently, the three-armed thing took off after she and Frank Patricia had gotten into a little squabble, of some kind, and a passing traveler helped them make it up. They became best friends after that. Oh, that's nice to hear. What about Delilah's friends. How did things turn out for Delilah and Patricia and the rest of the other kids? Did her diaries say? Uh, let me think. Great Aunt Delilah made a lot of dolls and eventually married a trap tra trader. Sometimes she went on this route with him. Patricia got married to, to a big a big six from one of the outlying farms and they moved to the Star Ranch. Tom Ford became a judge like his pop and a duty head Peter. And duty head Peter became a mayor, though it was basically by default. Nothing super interesting, but you know, nothing much was back then. They all did well enough for themselves. Oh, that's good. Thanks for the closure. What? Nothing. Sandwich Church also served as an extra's town hall, courtroom, racquetball, and schoolhouse. Nice and clean. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to Sandwich. I'm Phil Proctor. I'm the mayor here. Any question you might have about our historical literature, I'd be happy to answer. Any relation to Peter Proctor? Ah, you must have seen the graves in my cemetery. Yes, that Peter Proctor was my great, great, I think about five or six great grandfathers. You don't know much about him, but judging from the headstone, he must have, been quite, must have been a character. Yeah, you could say that, or I assume. Can I go into your house? Sorry, I'll let you show you the place. We've got a beautiful tapestry featuring portraits of some of my ancestors. Sisters and other historical behavior, but you write at a bad time. We're doing some renovation and restoration work. It's real mess inside. That's why I'm standing out here, waiting for the electrician. Or someone like him. Electrician? I thought you were all 18th century historical reenactors here. Oh, well, yes, technically, but I have a phone for emergencies, and once a week. And once a week after the patrons have left in the evening, we like to get together into my parlor to listen to Looseners Castro Oil's Flakes Musical Variety Hour on the radio. Know anything about witchcraft? Witchcraft? <laughs> nope. No, no witches around here. We filled up the reset in concrete purely because the foundation was a little shaky. What's that got to do with nothing? Thanks. Talk to you later. Nicter Proc Nicholas Proctor vanished mysteriously or presumed dead 1692. This house dress is nearly 300 years old. The water's not that old, but you shouldn't drink it anyway. It's for horses. And that should do it for this area, I believe. Let's head on home. Wait. I'm silly, yada yada yada. I think I missed something in here. Or not. item called the Cursed um, Fishing Rod, but I don't remember where it is. Ah, I'll look for it later. On my own time. Got the compass. 
Oh, good. Not too much of an ordeal, I hope. Could have been worse. I guess there were some horrible fairies. What? No, don't tell me. Just uncurse that thing and then get some rest. Okay. The, the next start fixes book. I'll have the location narrowed down by, by morning. Sounds good. Shadow Tainted Compass. You sit with the compass in both hands as the machine whirls and winds and shakes around you. The machine, you feel, is frustrated. Some internal mechanism is swinging frantically, then crack. Figures out what it needs to do, and there's no more curse. Not in the compass, anyway. It still points to Old North, though, so it's practically useless. Com compass curse is now transfixed inside the uncursing machine. Do you dare protect your consciousness inside? I will dare. Gosh, that looks sore. This is madness. That bull of your gonna get us all killed. We should listen to what the coach has to say. Like your 90s, our coach, we gotta listen to him. People say not to train horses in midstream, but what if the horse is trying to get you to bash in the head with a baseball? That's a horse worth changing. And trust me, I know from a horse. I saw one once. What do you think we ought to do? Let's get out of here. Go home. Don't you think things were fine just the way they were? Why are we doing this? You mean playing baseball? He looks you dead in the eye and manages a nervy chuck. Yeah, that's right, kid. All right, well, see you later. You okay there, fella? I'm disgusted it's come to this. We all know that you're the weak link of the team. Some would say the team accountant, which is beyond loud on the field. But you tell me, did all my years of... Uh, including you in team lunches and burpees make you, make you into a baseball player? Yes, coach, I'm ready to hit the balls. That's what I want to hear. Your destiny's out there on the diamond, son. Go ahead, hit into the parking lot. Hey, coach, why are you wearing that funny looking hat? Nothing funny about it. Son, it's a clot. Coach's clock. It's traditional. Gee, coach, you think Maribel will ever marry me? Can't answer that, son. All I can tell you is that Maribel has married every World Series v MVP since the series' first contest did in 1903. We work out the rest. Hear me, coach, I gotta go hit something. Ow. 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 Screw this. Son, son of a number one boy, you did it, you son of a gun. You won the whole damn game. Did I do good, coach? Look at the scoreboard. It's zero to hole. That's the whole game. This one's for all who say baseball. Now come here, champ. Pucker up, because here comes the coach's big sniff. What? Funny, the compass feels extremely reassuring now that it's back to being an ordinary little thing in your hand and not something hurled at your head in an oversized ghostly form from every cardinal direction. It glows faintly. I think you were scared of a little old compass. I was never scared of this compass. I'm not scared. That's good. What to do? It's nice and all. Oh wait, this is great. I guess we're done for today. I got some napkins for the new storefront I fixed up. Over there on the other side of the Cold Cola War surplus. Got a tech on the pick one? Sure thing. First applicant is Truncheons and Bludgeons. This fellow is really excited about weaponry. Second is Jared Harware. I guess if your name is Jared. Jarware, your options are of rhyme and business names are pretty limited. The last is Texas Instruments. Guy from Texas selling musical instruments, I suppose. The weapon store. Okay, uh, I'll get move in and get naked the North Star for the next out. Thanks, Charles. You find a spot next to the window for that horrible potted worm Grady gave you. You hang the skull, cow skull over the desk. If anyone asks, I'll tell them you killed them yourself. Thanks.
feel like I'm missing something on that. What this? Someone's left your something on a gift. Someone's given you a nightstand. There's a briefcase with a note on top. Take one, read the other. The note reads, Blues, the quality of your work at the distillery has been noted as excellent. We'll contact you and telephone in your manner with further opportunities. DT. A briefcase full of meat. Like a cow, this briefcase is flesh surrounded by leather. Unlike a cow, it has brass hand latches and a handle. Honest work for dishonest pay. Don't you mean that the other way around? That's a lot of gabba a ghoul. Ready to make the transition from crystal dream to regular dreams. This represents your growing mistrust of your bed. If you repeat it enough times, stress is sound like a real word. I don't intend to do that, thank you. It's the museum of skulls, obviously. Wait a minute. One of these skulls is yours, and it's missing your it's missing its teeth. Give it the ones you're carrying. You put the teeth back in your skull. It tries to thank you, but you have no tongue. No tongue. Yeah, you're not sure what this is, but you're sure what it isn't. A strange conversation is taking place. Participate. No one scowls at you. You better have some good news for me, Bruzy. Hog features up 10 points. Everything's going according to plan, Madam President. Good. The damn project is complete. That isn't what I said. You need to say it's generating enough power now. And those eggheads know better than the cross. What about the interloper? The what now? The troops will find her soon. You know her last name is Traveler. A relative of that Rat Morris. The president's frown deepens. A relative of Murray Morris is an enemy of ours. Find her and get her out of the picture. 10-4, Madam President. Both Bruce and the president wake out of the things with an ominous sounding pop. You're ready for this dream to be over. And how? Start the day by rubbing the crystal. Fight this thing for some reason. Morning Blues, how you feeling? Uh, fine I guess? I've been having weird dreams. You know, like the one you're driving a car but you're in the back seat and you can't retain the controls? I can't remember very clearly but I think it was weird in that. I really hate that one. Anyway, I found the next cursed thing. It's a hard book cover about Yay Big, and it's somewhere on the campus of on the campus of Seaside Institute of Technology in Portham. You ready to go? Haven't had any coffee yet. I should be able to find coffee when you get there. Probably even some kind of high-powered co science, science coffee or something. All right, all right. Do you have a map of the place? No, but it's a college campus. Can't be that hard to find your way around. College students do it all day. Bus to Portham leaves from the usual stop. Good luck. Call Don T. Don Trumbull and verbalizing. Hi, Don, it's me. Ah, Splendiferous. Kudos on your triumphal completion of my previous assignmentation. You're welcome. Is that all? In fact, I have another item of business to be attuned to, to, which I believe is to be suited marv marvelously to one of your skills. Which one? No, I mean, well, regarding... Re well, re regardless, we require that you proceed apace to Crystal Dream Lake, where... In a, is located a purveyor of tools and implements of construction. Say again? You might vernacularize it as hardware store. Ah, right. You guys are running out of cement or something? We have an assist to that will, you will perform upon this place what, uh, of business what we catalog is as a shakedown. Oh, you meet? No, we are merely Cyrus that the local commercialist retail emporia feel a measure of intimidation. Okay, I guess I can handle that.
people that are on their third date, you shouldn't bother. There's the two girls he met back in the diner in Poughkeepsie. Hey there, how's the road trip? Oh, hi, it was the cat's pajamas. Her oh, a oh, it was all in a tizzy that we moved to Zay Crate, though. That old Abe Burner needed the con constitutional. If my heavy we quit being such a dew dropper, I never a wouldn't have had a Yanny to drag hope with nif nifkit cookies like that all over a twist that was making Google eyes on my games all night. That Ziz was a, was a four flusher from hell to breakfast. If you hadn't been so specificated on Panther Sweat, on that Panther Sweat, we were garling. You'd have rumbled that he was itching for your. Missoula more than your stilts. It figures, but he was real peach rooney all the same. Uh-huh. They're still totally baffling to speak with. Anyway, we'll call it a video here. I am the Blues32. This is, um... Shadows Over Loathing. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.